What if you could predict what card someone would cut to in a shuffle deck of cards and you've never even touched the deck? Well, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you this right now. All right, you'll notice that I got a bunch of cards here. Can you see them? All right, so this is the last time I'm gonna to touch the deck. I don't wanna to touch the deck anymore. Go ahead, do me a favor and just cut the deck as many times as you like. We're gonna do this so that we can mix up the cards. Therefore, I don't have them in any particular order. I don't remember what order that they're in. I can see you're doing a bunch of cuts. Uh, whenever you feel satisfied, you can stop, all right? So right now, we are mixing up the cards. You good? You sure? Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to cut the deck to a card that you're gonna select, but you don't know what it is. You're just gonna to cut to it. So go ahead, just cut to it. Okay, so you've cut to this card, and just to, just to mark this card, I'm gonna sit this envelope right on top of it, all right? So that lets us know that that's where you cut. Now, during this entire time, once you started cutting, I didn't touch the deck at all, did I? All right, and I didn't, I, I didn't like stop the camera and do something else, did I? No, the camera's been running the entire time. You cut the deck to this spot, all right? So I still don't wanna to touch it. So what I want you to do is I want you to take the envelope and just turn it over on the side. Just turn it over, sit it on the side, that's perfect. And I want you to take that top card off, sit it right here, perfect. Now you don't know what that card is, right? Now before you turn over that card, I just wanna let you know that I wrote a prediction inside of this envelope, all right? So do me a favor, open up this envelope, pull out the prediction, and the prediction is actually folded. Don't unfold it yet, but just pull it out. Got it? Just sit it right on top of the envelope. That's perfect. And I want you to take your car. I want you to slowly turn it over. And that is the king of diamonds, right? Okay. Now, I wrote a prediction here. Do me a favor and open up that prediction. And it says, you will pick the king of diamonds. Did you pick the king of diamonds? Yeah. That's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the explanation to the envelope card trick. So this is a prediction trick. You know exactly what card they're gonna pick. You don't even have to touch the deck. This is the secret, the envelope. The envelope is how you force them to pick that card. So here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna take a deck of cards, doesn't matter. Uh, what type of deck of cards you have, but you're gonna take the King of Diamonds or whatever your prediction is gonna be, you're gonna take that predicted card out. You're then gonna go and get a piece of paper and you're gonna write on a piece of paper, you will pick the, my card's the King of Diamonds, so I pick King of Diamonds. Whatever card you wanna force on them, it can be that card. It can be a special card, a different colored back card, however you wanna do it, but you'll need to write your prediction here. You're gonna take that, place it inside of an envelope. Now, to make this better, you can even seal it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the seal off and I'm gonna seal the envelope just like this. This makes it real good because then there's no way that you could have gotten in because they're gonna have to rip this open, all right? So you just wanna tap your prediction down to the bottom so that when they rip the top or open it up, they don't rip your prediction. And once that's set, you're, you're set for the trick. So what you're gonna do now is take the card that you're gonna force on them and you're just gonna put it right underneath just like this, you're gonna slide it right underneath and you're gonna sit it on the bottom of the envelope so that your fingers can grab it. What you'll then do is set the envelope hanging off the side. So basically what's happening is the card is hanging off the side. And what that does is when I go to grab the envelope, it makes it easy for me to grab the card. And wherever they cut, you're just gonna sit the envelope on top. But secretly, you're sitting the card on top and that's the card that they're gonna pick. So. Me and my assistant, we're gonna run through it again. We're gonna show you. So you'll show the cards. It doesn't matter which order the cards are in, but you just wanna show that all the cards are different. So you'll show that first. And then at this point, after you've shown all the cards are different, you wanna allow the spectator to cut the card. So I'm gonna have the spectator cut the cards as many times as they want. It doesn't matter because you're gonna force which, which card they're gonna to cut to, but they don't know that. So now that they've cut it, once they're satisfied with it, you don't wanna to touch the deck at all. That's what makes this a miracle, okay? So after they've cut the cards, that's the way they mix them up. And then you say, okay, now I want you to cut the deck again, only this time you're gonna to cut to a selected card, a card you would like to select. Although you don't know what it is, we're gonna to cut to it so that we can get a random card for you. So then you tell them to cut it again. 
And when they cut it, you point to the card. You say, this is the card that you cut to. I'm gonna take the envelope. When you pick up the envelope, you grab the card, and you're just gonna sit the card right on top of where they've cut to. And now you're all set, all right? Now you can go on and explain that you haven't touched the deck. They did all the mixing of the deck. They cut to the card that they wanted to. At this point, I still don't want to have my hands near the deck. The only time I even came close is when I put the envelope on, and you just do that very quickly and move away. Say, I just want to mark your cut so we don't forget. And then they're going to take the envelope. You're going to have them flip it over. So you'll flip it over on the side. I do that so that now we can see that it's sealed, okay? Now that we see that it's sealed, then you're going to say, this is the card you cut to. Flip that card over. Flip it over and lay it right on top of the deck. The King of Diamonds. I knew you were going to pick the King of Diamonds because inside this envelope, I've made a prediction. Do me a favor and open up that envelope. Now, the envelope is sealed. So go ahead, pick it up with two hands. Just hold it right here so that we can see it. And I want you to rip the top. Yeah, go ahead. Rip it open. There you go. Okay, so now it's ripped open. They go through, they pull out the prediction, and then when they open the prediction, go ahead, open it up. Though it'll be facing them. It'll say, you will pick, or if it's the other way around, they'll swing it around, they'll read it, and it says, you will pick the King of Diamonds because you've already preset the King of Diamonds. So this is the explanation for the envelope card trick. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications next time that we make a video. Also be sure to tune in every Wednesday when we do Fool Your Friends. Uh, we do a new trick every Wednesday. We'll also be doing some unboxing and a whole bunch of behind the scene clips. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And before you go, check this out. Until next time, here's an unusual thought I'd like to leave you with. If Cinderella's shoe only fit her foot, then why did it fall off? Yeah, that's an unusual thought. <laughs>